Okay, we've uh, gathered here today on uh, Remembrance Sunday to commemorate and remember those persons that gave their life during the conflicts of the First World War. Um, the war continued for four years. Um, 2016, as we are now, um, has just seen the 100th anniversary of the Battle of the Somme which is widely uh, renowned as being one of the worst disasters um, that the British Army were involved in. Uh, numbers of dead across both sides numbered somewhere around a million people over the course of the six months or thereabouts of that action. The uh, local units that fought, um, the Leicestershire Regiment had a number of uh, battalions and there were yeomanry units that also formed um, the forces that went abroad. And during the course of the fighting, the individuals uh, would eventually have been honoured with the medals um, known as the War Medal, the Victory Medal and either the 1415 Star or the 15 Star. I never thought as a young boy, born and bred in Colville, that one day I'd have the honour of leading the parade through my hometown. And, um, after serving in the army I, and in the guards, I have been on quite a lot of state occasions. That's, but nothing is quite the same as coming to march through your own hometown, through the people that you know and people that you've grown up with. I think back to my old granddad and uh, his son Bill, who went off to war in 1914, one of the first to volunteer. There were famous 50. Uh, who was well documented all about the 50 lads. Bill was an ex-miner, so uh, he got drafted into the, with the engineers and the others to, to join the tunnelers who were busy uh, trying to counter the German tunneling offensive. And that's how he met his death. And he, the, the, the tunnel that he was working in got broken into by the German counter tunnelers, a firefight, an explosion. Four British lads down there, two got out, two did, and Bill was one of the two that did. So Bill's remains are still there under Vimy Ridge somewhere. We went to the First World War uh, battlefields. Uh, we researched a lot of the cemeteries and graves, and on the last day, we found Bill's memorial at Theatval, on the big memorial there. And there, there he is, with his name engraved on there along with all the other soldiers who have no known grave. Remembrance Sunday involves everyone. It involves the people of today and we remember in history the past and remember that all the people of our community owe their lives and their freedom to those members of their family who gave their lives for us. This is an occasion that brings everybody together from all walks of life and from all age groups and it's so important that we keep this memory alive. As you know, today's been Remembrance Sunday. It's been fantastic to see the actual turnout of people here in Colville today. And the community have really come together to, to show and pay their respects on this special day. We, as the District Council who organise Remembrance Sunday, are working in partnership with Century of Stories. And we hope that from today, that we can go out and deliver some of the stories of the comrades and share what they've gone through 
to other people in the community, to schools, libraries, community groups and lots of other people so that these stories are shared with many, many people. And by doing this, these stories will never, ever be forgotten.